Hi, I'm Susie and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Sydney Gardens in Bath which is directly behind the Home Museum and the Sydney Gardens was built in 1795 and it's one of the last remaining um, pleasure gardens from the 18th century and it was built as a place for um, the people who wanted to be seen to be promenading around uh, there was members of the royal family would go there um, Jane Austen who lived directly opposite um, was seen there and um, those kind of people would be out and about and maybe they'd be meeting and greeting kind of having treasts and um, that kind of thing there was um, public events like firework displays and concerts that uh, happened there which um, and those kind of things still go on um, and of course there's just the beautiful gardens and the gardens also have little bridges that go across both the um, canal and the railway line um, with these love the lovely kind of iron bridge features and there's tennis courts and and a children's play area and things like that there but there's also the beautiful plants and it's the plants that I wanted to focus on um, in this video just thinking about just playing with the idea of collecting up bits and pieces. I, as a child I used to love collecting flowers and, and petals and leaves and sticks and things um, and seed pods and all those things and I still do and I, I want to kind of just show you how you can create things with all the bits that you might collect in a beautiful garden when you're going around so it really helps you to kind of focus on what's in the garden and to really look and find things and maybe identify things as well there's lots of beautiful plants like alliums and and um, poppies and uh, there's they've kind of planted wildflowers there as well as all the beautiful um, other planting the more formal planting and there's some beautiful beautiful trees there too so lots of lovely leaves to be collected and you could do this with any in any outdoor space where there's any plant plants it doesn't have to be at the Sydney Gardens but that's what I've been focusing on okay so here I've gathered together a whole load of different uh, bits and pieces plants um, that I've got from my garden from the curb stones outside from between paving slabs um, so there's some wild stuff some garden flowers like this calendula which has just seeded itself um, some grasses, weeds, all sorts of things. You just want a, a selection of bits and pieces that suggest to you, like these kind of berries, which are apparently a black elder. These ones were hanging over the fence from my neighbour's garden. Um, and they suggest little eyes or antennae or something like that to me and little legs. So um, what we're going to do is to look at all the bits and pieces that we've got and see what might uh, what we might be able to create from them, what kind of creatures and bugs and butterflies and things like that um, they might suggest. These are lovely fluffy peony seed pods and they've got big black seeds inside, some of them. Um, I haven't got the black ones, the black seed, the, the ones that are open at the moment, but um, I thought these were rather lovely kind of bodies. They look a bit like slugs actually already, don't they? Um, so there's uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, and you could try identifying them as well, seeing what you could find find out about them. Um, some of seed pods like these ones, there's little poppy seed pods with all the, the seeds are coming out of them. Um, these seed cases, which are kind of like crab claws or something like that, rather wonderful. Um, ivy leaves, uh, ivy grows prolifically, so I think probably to cut a few leaves off would be fine. You might geranium petals, a few buttercups. There you can see a blackberry in there. That makes a rather nice kind of head of something. So let's see what we can do with these. Okay, so I've cleared away some stuff and kept a few other bits and I just thought I'd see what I could do with these bits, these lovely um, sycamore seeds, the lavender, which also smells nice when you when you smell it. The blackberry and this black elder. And I thought I might try these as wings. I've got still got a little bit of the stem left. Um, put the blackberry as the head of my creature. 
put it on there. And I thought these make great um, legs, the spiky legs. I might take off the little seed or berries, whatever they are, put them over there. And lay the lavender on as a body. I have got some other things that we could use as bodies. That one is a possible body. It's maybe not thick enough. I think the lavender is my favourite. So I'm going to just cut it down. I cut it down to there and add it. Oops. So we've got that wonderful creature there. It's kind of part dragonfly, part something else. Now I think that creature needs something like antenna as well. I know dragonfly don't seem to have them but we're going to put them on this our fantasy creature just there. Okay so there we've got one creature. Now what we could do is just exchange some of those pieces for other things. So let's take off the head, take off the wings, try some different wings on there. Um, what else could we use as a head? I've got this amazing seed head also from a calendula flower. It starts changing our creature. Maybe take away those legs and give it some different legs. We've got these lovely dandelion heads. Okay, so there's a couple of legs there. And I'm using the fact that they are bent over at the top because this one doesn't quite work because the leg goes off in the other direction. So I won't use that. And I think maybe it needs something else coming off here, but I'm not quite sure what. So I'm going to just, maybe it has another pair of wings down the bottom here. So I'm going to move these around. Add the other wings underneath, lift that up, put it down again, put those lovely furry ones and you can imagine that the other wings, or the other legs rather, might be underneath the wings this time. So there's those ones and possibly, maybe it's got a little thing coming out the back, out the back end. Let's tuck that seed pod under there. You get little creatures crawling off as well. So there's another little creature. Take that one apart. Let's try again. I'd fancy doing something a bit more butterfly-like. So maybe, maybe I'll use these wings. These wonderful ivy leaves ivy leaves and some of these petals. We've got some beautiful petals here. I'm going to put those on the top of the ivy leaves. Give it some lovely colour. Gorgeous colours there. So do we do it that way around? Maybe they work better that way around. I think maybe they do. And then some different leaves for the upper wings. I'm going to put those leaves on there. And I'm going to get some of these lovely calendula petals and add those. The gorgeous colours work really beautifully. So you don't have to use colour at all. It can just be the uh, the greens and the more muted colours. You don't have to have the bright colours of the of petals if you can't find any. And different types of year, you'll find different things as well. So there's those ones. And I've got these rather wonderful kind of clovers that have uh, all dried out. So that makes a rather lovely head. But I think I need to cut that one off a little bit. And get those. Maybe cut it off about there. A wonderful head shape for that one and I'm gonna do instead of it being a butterfly it's gonna be a moth and moths have these wonderful fluffy antenna 
So this is going to have some wonderful fluffy antenna. And this that I'm using for the antenna is fennel. And that again, like the lavender, has a wonderful smell. And well, if you if you like fennel, it has a smell, which is quite strong. And so there's a lovely butterfly. Maybe I could add a few more petals of something else. I'll try this buttercup, which is shiny petals. Buttercups have these beautiful, shiny, shimmery petals. So I'm going to put another petal. Oops. Might need tweezers for this job. That'll do. I'll put it that way around. And one the other side. So just really you need to play with all the different bits and pieces that you've got. And here I've got something a bit like a shield bug or something <laughs> with this vicious mouth. I know a shield bug isn't vicious, but so just go and play and have fun with all your bits and pieces and give it a go. See what happens.